SV TV. My name is Mark, and we're joined by Coleman from the Sea. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for coming down. So, uh, so we've got some drives in front of us. Mm -hmm. So we have a small selection of our full range of uh, products for professional use. We have the D2 that starts off at six terabytes, going up to ten terabytes. Then we also have the two big, starting at eight terabytes, going all the way up to twenty terabytes. The six big starts off at twelve terabytes, going all the way up to sixty terabytes. And it's bigger brother the 12 big starting off at 48 terabytes going all the way up to 120 terabytes. The naming scheme with Lacie is very simple for our RAID products. It's going to be a number followed by big and that number is always going to represent how many drives are in the product. Okay. So in this case, two big has two drives and six big has six drives, 12 big, 12 drives. Um, so if I take the two big for example here, it's a two big uh, dock, uh, Thunderbolt 3. So of course it's going to be Thunderbolt 3 in the back, but we also have a display port. So the idea behind it is to leave this on your desk, have it connected to your monitor, mm -hmm. and when you come in with your laptop, you'll be able to plug in one cable, have access to your storage, to your monitor, but you also have access to some card readers. So you have an SD card reader, compact flash, and a standard USB 3 port. Sure. So the convenience behind that is to be able to just come in, take your SD card, place it in the reader, and after a shoot with a GoPro or drone or photography or anything like that, you'll have access to your cards right away. Um, you don't have to be digging through your bag, pulling out your card reader for something else. Okay. Uh, same thing with the USB. You don't have to be digging in, finding an adapter, especially if you're using a MacBook Pro, which only has Thunderbolt. Um, yeah. We still have lots of accessories that are still standard USB, so that just makes things a little bit more convenient. Yeah. Um, of course, then we have our D2 product. This is going to be a product uh, which people are just looking for a little bit more expansion um, in a professional range. It's not going to be a RAID, so just a single bay unit. Um, in the back, we can see like all these different products here on today. We have two Thunderbolt ports. But we also have a USB-C port. Um, just adding that extra connectivity. Um, if you don't have Thunderbolt, you can always use that extra USB-C port in the back. And all our products from Lacie have USB-C today. And we're just trying to encourage the adoption of that new connection. And all our products come with a USB-C to USB-C cable, of course. But they also come with a USB-C to USB-3 cable. Okay. The idea behind that, as I said, we just want to help the adoption of that connection. It's going to be the new, it's, a, it's the future, basically, of USB. Sure. And uh, the day that people do upgrade to a USB-C computer, they'll be happy they have a USB-C drive, USB drive already. Perfect. Um, we also have the 6Big, as I said earlier. This is also going to have USB-C and Thunderbolt. Um, the USB-C is going to be a little bit more limited on that. We're able to add the USB-C port at no extra cost to the product. Um, so we went ahead and added that port just as a backup solution in case uh, your Thunderbolt 3 computer is out of use or somebody else is using it, whatever is happening. You can still access your data with that. Sure. It's going to be a little bit more limited. It's going to be limited to about 350 megabytes per second in uh, read and write speeds. But it's also going to only access the first RAID. So on here you can configure multiple RAIDs. Okay. So if you want to have maybe like a RAID 1 on the first two drives and a RAID 0 or RAID 5 on the, second, on the other four, you can do that. You can mix and match however you want to set it up and however you want to configure it. Um, however, when we are using the full uh, five, uh, six bays in a RAID 5, you're still going to be getting about 1,000 uh, megabytes per second in read and write speeds. Okay. So that's going to be great for people who are doing a little bit more push uh, 4K video editing. Um, it's a great product for that, actually. And if you're going into 6K video editing, we have the, six, the 12 big, which is this big brother, as I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier. And that's going to be going up to uh, over 2,400 megabytes per second in read oh. speeds. Okay. Um, this little guy here is about 450, so still great performance. Um, personally, I like to combine it with a D2 here, configure it into a RAID 1, because the capacities are going to line up um, pretty well. Uh, each time, this going, one going from 8 terabytes all the way up to 20 terabytes, and this guy starts off at 6 terabytes going all the way up to 10. Okay. So when you're configuring this one from a RAID, uh, RAID 1, 20 terabytes, you're going to have 10 terabytes available. Sure. So just combine it with a 10 terabyte here and have that backup. It's a great combination. I mean, yes, of course, you have a RAID 1 here. It's going to duplicate your data. But sometimes files can still get corrupt. That has nothing to do with the drives. That's going to be the software you're using. Things happen like that. Mm -hmm. and you want to make sure they have a second copy on the side no matter what. Okay. And in terms of RAID modes for this guy? On um, RAID, that one can actually support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, RAID 50. And its bigger brother has enough drives to actually do RAID 60 as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, how does this uh, how does this ship? Uh, this ships by default in RAID 5, RAID 5. Uh, because uh, we understand people want to start using it right away. And the process of building a RAID takes a while because, uh, especially in a RAID 5, you want to make sure all the drives are in sync. And that process can take a few hours. Okay. So we ship it by default in a RAID 5. So okay, perfect. If you need any more information at all, 
can of course visit our website, that's eastwoodsoundandvision.com or lesseen.com. Of course, you'll find all the details for all the products uh, on that site, um, including all the different capacities as well. Perfect. Uh, don't forget, uh, give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.